are here to announce the filing of this new uh, lawsuit by Jim Stillwagon against the Delaware Police Department and members of that department, as well as a man named Mattingly. They had no evidence this man had been shot. They had no witnesses saying Jim Stillwagon had done any road rage. It was just a made-up story. So why would a police department choose to take the side of a proven bad guy a guy on parole, a guy who had admitted had been drinking all day before he got in his truck and went out on the public highway, over the side of a known good guy. Today they don't even know what happened because they never did any investigation. But he was all, but he was he was an interim police chief that wanted to get his picture on all of the internet. The social internet killed me. Buckeye Nation killed me. All, all the Buckeye fans telling me that I hit too many people, I should be thrown in jail, the keys should be thrown away, then they go watch the game that day. It, it's just the way people are. I understand that. That was somewhat hurting. But to have a, a, a police chief get on TV and talk about something he doesn't even know what happened, and then to have a detective, the lead detective, get on TV and say that there was no justification for me doing what I did. He did, and it's the first, it was less, it was just a little over 24 hours after I got almost killed. And he had, and he, they had not even interviewed anybody. I've been on the wrong side of the fence and put on the wrong side of the fence unjustly. But you have to uh, have your day in court, and we had our day in court. And four days they threw it out. There was no evidence whatsoever that justified any of my uh, actions that they so poorly said it, I did. Um, I, you know, like uh, Jim says, we don't know why Delaware did this to me, but they could do it to you. They could do it to anybody. 